Hello, my name is uh, Torben and I'm going to give you a tutorial today on how to collimate your Nexstar 130 SLT. This is a quite easy procedure, so don't be afraid of it, it will take about 5 to 10 minutes. Before we go ahead, I'll just show you the tools you need uh, in order to do the collimation and uh, thereafter we collimate the telescope. Okay, let's have a look at what you need to do the collimation. First of all, you need this tool. Uh, I'm not completely sure what's it called in English, but uh, you definitely need it to adjust the secondary mirrors. Um, but most importantly, you need a collimation tool like this. There are a number of ways to collimate it, otherwise uh, but I would definitely recommend that you use a collimation tool like this. This is uh, definitely the most precise way to collimate your scope. What it basically does is to send out a laser beam and I'll just show it to you. And we'll have a look at what it actually does with your uh, telescope in a minute. This. Uh, Collimation tool is from a company called Seben. I think it's a German company. Uh, you will find it for around 20 to 25 pounds in Europe. Um, you can easily get some more expensive ones. This is one of the cheapest ones and it does the, the job perfectly. So you don't need to buy the, the most expensive ones. But um, yeah, let's go on to the collimation of the scope. Okay, now we are ready to put in the collimation tool into your focuser. It will fit nicely like any other eyepiece into the focuser. What is very important here is that you align, you can see this hole in the collimation tool, that you align that with the back of the tube. So, just make sure of that and tighten the screws. What's important is also that you bring in the focuser to the lowest point here, like that. Okay? Ideally, what, when this laser beam goes out from the collimation tool, it is going to hit the secondary mirror in here, go down to the primary mirror at the bottom of the tube, hit the primary mirror, go back to the secondary mirror, hit the la with the laser beam, in the middle, in the center of this hole. We'll get back to that. But let's see, we try to turn on the laser beam. And what you see now is that you actually see the laser beam here. So this telescope is definitely not collimated. So that's what we are going to do now. Now I've turned around the telescope so you can have a look directly into the tube and to the mirror at the bottom. In the front you see the alignment uh, screws for the secondary mirror and that's why we're going to start. These are the three holes where the screws are at the bottom uh, and we're going to align those. Do not touch the screw in the middle as this holds firm the secondary mirror, so don't touch that. Only these three areas here. Okay, let's play with the adjustment screws uh, to get the secondary mirror aligned. I forgot to tell you this, but it's very important that you keep the tube like horizontally, because if you were to lose your tool down the tube, rather not hit the primary mirror and destroy it. So keep it like this when you align the screws. Okay, let's see if we can get that dot in the middle. 
in the center. It's almost there. Let's see. Let's see if we can, oops, that was the wrong way. the center. Looking at the back of your telescope, the back of the tube, you see different screws. This higher screw is the tightening screw and the lower bigger one is the alignment screw. So what you're going to do now is just turn the tightening screws just a bit, not a lot, just a bit, like this. And now you are going to give a notch on these screw alignment screws here and watch your collimation tool if the laser dot is hitting the black hole in the middle. Okay, so now I hope that you can see the red dot in the collimation tool uh, and I'll try to adjust the primary mirror. And it's not a lot that you have to turn. Okay, now I've zoomed in on the collimation tool and as I turn these alignment screws you'll see that the red laser dot is going to move and uh, we need to get it dead center. So. That's what I'm going to do now. Oops, wrong way, you can see. Whoops, and you can see the red dot is gone. Right in the center of the black hole and you are going to tighten tightening screws and you're done that was the tutorial guys on how to collimate your next star 130 SLT when collimated you will not get distorted images of stars and planets and so on so it is rather important to get the scope collimated I hope you enjoyed it, you can use it, and I just want to wish you clear skies. Bye guys.